POC Network here at CES 2022, and uh, we have something pretty big behind us. Uh, we're at the Hisense booth, and this is Matthew standing next to me. And uh, Matthew, we have a huge projection system back here. It's actually not a projection system, so to say it is, but it isn't. Usually when you're seeing something like this, what we're looking at today is pretty much screen convergence. We're blending screens Correct. together, projectors together to create this. Usually you're, you need something like barcode projectors and stuff, you know, hanging from a stick of trust to be able to, to do something like this. But what you're using here is ultra short throw projectors on the consumer level. Yes, sir, absolutely. So as you can see here, two 120 inch L9G trichroma laser televisions uh, are used in concert to create a much bigger display than what any one by itself would be able to do. That's fantastic. A lot of projectors don't give you blending options in their menus. Right. So this is right in the menu. It's not automated yeah. though, so no. we're not that smart uh, yet. We got to wait right. till AI gets a little bit better. So yeah. maybe next year. You hey, know, we'll but see. but we'll this see. is cool because you don't really find blending options in any consumer level projector. Right. So how much is the general price point of one of these projectors? So a single laser projector, the 120 inch, uh, one uh, excuse me, 6,000 right now, and that comes with a 120 inch screen. So you're getting a full package with it. Uh, but obviously, a system set up like this, at least for the televisions, uh, you're looking at about 12,000. Okay, so 12,000 uh, dollars. So this is going to be for the uh, I would say prosumer, but just the the enthusiast. Absolutely. Definitely somebody who really wants to, they know what they're getting. Absolutely. And uh, what's interesting about this is that technically you don't really have any limitations. You can do more than two projectors. You know, it's just the catch is the size of the screen. Correct. You know, because of the resolution of the screen, uh, your average game, your average movie isn't going to be able to be compatible right. with this. You're going to have a lot of blank space on both sides. Mm -hmm. You know, so the trick is, is you're going to have to find a game that can do ultra wide or super ultra wide to be able to pull this off. Absolutely. Yes. And, you know, at some point, you know, if you wanted a custom screen to do a full true 16 by nine ratio on something like this, you could do it, uh, but it obviously would be custom. Yeah. So you could have a, a lot of fun with these, you oh, know, yeah. especially if you just like to show off to your neighbors and just have a <laughs> long wall of custom graphics going around your living room or something, or your entryway as you're coming into your house. You know, this is perfect for ultra short throw projectors. They're out of the way. You don't have to worry about it. some bulky projector hanging off the ceiling. You know, but uh, and, and these projection screens. So like, this is available right now. The projectors are available. Absolutely. Yes, and uh, and they again, they come with their own projection screen. But to be able to pull something like this off, you are going to have to go out to reach out to somebody like Elite Screens, and uh, they do have uh, certain ultra wide options available. But anything beyond that, you're going to have to customize the screen. Correct. You know, so it does get a little bit pricey doing that. But if you're paying twelve thousand dollars for two projectors. Who cares about twelve hundred, two thousand, you know, dollars worth of custom screen? Right. You're doing it for a reason. That's not going to be a big deal. Right. You know, so have fun with it. You can even get goofy with shapes. That's the best part about merging, you know, projectors together like this and, and blending the image together. Is you can do U shapes, do that, you know, letters, you can do whatever you want with this. And this is how you know booths like these at shows like CES are formed is using screen convergence mm -hmm. and blending projectors together to be able to pull off the effect. So it's cool to see this more obtainable by the consumer or a smaller commercial aspects as well, small office, things like that. Mm -hmm. So what's nice, it's all available right now. Yes, sir. Go to Hisense's website to find out more information. For more information, yes. Uh, and for availability, if you'd like to purchase one of these, uh, anywhere TVs are sold. Yep, Amazon, Best Buy, Amazon, anybody Best who carries Buy, Hisense. This is exciting, it's especially exciting because it's available now. Right. So it's cool, we can't wait to see some more, hopefully in the future they, they can automate some of this. Again, you know me, uh, don't forget about me if they do, you know, I gave the idea. So <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm taking claim to that one. Thank you so much, Matthew, this well. is exciting, we can't wait to see what's next. Appreciate it, thank you very much. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.